Hey knitters, it's Thursday, um, and I'm the only one who's made a video this week, uh, but I can't talk because I've definitely not made videos on many other weeks. Um, but yeah, I think everyone's been really busy this month. I feel like this was a busy month, at least for me, and I'm getting that feel for other people. Um, but I would really love to see your faces next week, um, so I think next week's theme should be make a video. I feel like we've we've had that theme before. Uh, make a video, any video. It could be like 30 seconds. It could literally be you saying hi, how are you? Um, I want to see your face. So, make a video. Um, I'm making a video probably 50% because I actually crocheted something that is bigger than a flower for the first time in months. <laughs> like, it's, it's bad. But, basically I'm going LARPing this weekend uh, in Pennsylvania. And it's like in the mountains and super cold, even though it's like September. Um, at least at night it's cold. Um, and I really wanted something like warm. And so I've been making this scarf, which is doing pretty well. It's, I don't even know. Do you know how hard scarves are to catch on camera? There we go. Let's see how much I did. It's actually, I, I actually got a lot done. Um, but I want it to be like gigantic, like wrap around your neck like five times kind of scarf. And I still have um, this much of the second ball of yarn. So and it's very like, it has like the pieces in the yarn and stuff, which I sometimes don't like, but like, I don't know. I feel like it worked. It made it look like very delicious and yummy and furry. Um, so I'm excited to wear that scarf this weekend, uh, but I have to like finish it by tomorrow. Um, it's, I mean, it, if I don't make it super long, I could probably finish it. Um, I might end up bringing it to the campsite and finishing there. Anyway, that's my crochet stuff. Um, as for other things, uh, Kayla, I was actually super interested in what you had to say about your classroom. Um, it was definitely not too much. Um, I just found it fascinating. Anyway, because um, it's just never something I've encountered ever. So like everything you spoke about, I just never heard of. So I was definitely interested to hear something new. Um, and Doctor Who... Uh, was something you mentioned, and I actually, I don't know, basically the last episode this past Saturday, I liked the episode. Um, I am still not crazy about Clara. I don't think Clara ever grew on me. She, like, has her moments, but for the most part, I'm just like, mm, you're, you're there. You're the impossible girl. Good for you. Um. But I actually really like this doctor um, because he really reminds me of like William Hartnell a little bit. And I know that makes no sense because William Hartnell's Doctor Who was like a jerk of jerk, jerk, jerks. But I kind of like that. Like, I don't like the doctor being this like all good character, blah, blah, blah. I like the idea that there's now like a doubt that maybe he's good or doubt that like, like, first episode where you don't know who did what. I don't even know if, there, if I should not have spoilers here. If you got up to this part in the video and you haven't seen the episodes, you should expect spoilers at this part of the video. But like when they're like, you're not sure who pushed who out of the hot, out of the floating balloon thing or whatever that was. And you're not sure if the doctor pushed him or if he fell out or, put, or jumped out or I don't know. I like the little doubts where you're like, how good is the doctor and blah 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 and he's not like this young faced guy anymore he looks old like he should um because the doctor is not a 20 something strapping lad um i don't even know where i'm going with this i like the new doctor i guess is what i'm saying i'm not like obsessed with him but i enjoy watching him i wish he would get a new companion um, and clearly they're going on some road of making Clara's new boyfriend, I guess, another Rory type deal, um, which might work, but I, I just want a new companion. That, that's just what I want. And then I see if it works with this doctor. Um, the episodes have been a little weird. I feel like they're not really getting grasp yet on like what's going on but I really did enjoy that last episode so that's at least something um so I've been rambling about Doctor Who and stuff so that's good um I've been reading 
Where's the book? Oh. Because, I mean, I'm going to have, like, reading to share, like, every week now. So this is just, this was just going to happen. Every week I'll share the books, I guess, that I'm reading for my young adult class. So one of the books I read was Wheat Sea Bat, which is just a really weird and amazing book. Like, it's very, very hard to describe. And, like, it makes no sense at many, many, many parts at all. And the language is super rich. Like, in a paragraph, so much can happen. Like, it is it is a very... It's the kind of book where you just literally keep turning pages because the language is that good. Um, and the way it's written is just crazy. And it just... It's weird. Be prepared for weird if you're going to read this book. But I really enjoyed it. And it was, like, 88 pages. So it, like, flew. Um, but yeah, that's Wheatsy Bat. And the other book I read... Or I'm, I'm actually finishing it up is Perks of Being a Wallflower, which I feel like probably everyone on this channel might have read. If you have not, you should. It is definitely a good book. Um, it's very different reading it now because I think the first time I read it, I was a teenager. And now that I'm reading it and I'm a little older, it's very, I don't know, maybe I'm overanalyzing it, but it's just a very different book, um, which I kind of like. I kind of like rereading stuff I read when I was little. Um, so those are the two books that I am reading for my Monday class. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go because I have to go finish crocheting the scarf. But I love you guys. Bye!